Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I want to acknowledge a gift that I received yesterday. Let's take a look at it. All I did last night was open the box, take this assembly just the way it was, and put it in the greenhouse and soak it in some water. I knew it hadn't been in transit for too long because the guy that sent this to me, you may all know, Matt Brennan entrusted me with some trees that he's grown from seed or that, that have just grown up in his yard, seeds that had been gifted to him. And one very special one from Tony of Tony's Bonsai, a Royal Oak. I believe he sent Matt some acorns. Now Matt's a pretty wonderful guy. He's <laughs> probably my first subscriber and uh, prolific prolific commenter. So all of you in the bonsai community may experience similar behavior from Matt Brennan. Oh, this is very cool. I'm going to like this. All right, what I have here Okay, this, Matt warned me, was kind of a disaster, but thinks I can do something with it. Well, Matt, <laughs> I'll do my best. If I can get roots starting right here, that would be the way to go. So that's what I'll try to do. Let me get this in water while it waits. Royal Oak from Tony of Tony's Bonsai. May Tony rest in peace and be surrounded by beautiful trees. Okay, that's in water. This, I wanna get it right, hang on, is a golden rain tree, which I think was started from seeds from Jonas at Bonsai Cornwall. Jonas, correct me if I'm wrong. Or Matt, correct me if I'm wrong. So it's a little one-sided. Let's see what I can do. It's got a tap root that I'll have to uh, deal with. Let me get that in water. A golden rain tree. I, I don't know anything about that tree. Is it tropical? What is it? I'll look it up. Embarrassed that I haven't done so already. And these are native red maples from the beautiful state of Connecticut. The parent tree is in Matt's backyard. Ooh, maybe I got a fusion going here. Or maybe that's a great idea. All right, I will find a pot and get back to you and we'll plant these. <laughs> Got a little untangling to do. All right, let's start with the Royal Oak. This all has to go at some point, but if it goes now, it takes a lot of good stuff with it. So half of it, I think, can go. Yeah. The Royal Oak from Tony. Wow. I really want this to take off. I'm going to put it in an oversized pot 
and I'm just gonna let it grow. Okay, let me get that root trimmed. All right. I need a lot of that root structure that's coming out of there. I'm gonna be real cautious cutting this. And take it in two bites. Bite number one. Bite number two. <laughs> Apparently bite number three. There we go. All right, so what's left? Do I need any of this? I might need it just for stability. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna get rid of that. I might need it for stability. Some length here that can go. This root right here. Do I want it? Doesn't appear to be a viable root. I'm going to take it right off. And these I'm just going to cut a little shorter. All right, so the pot I've chosen for this is enormous. It's this plastic pot. I'm going to plant it central. I'm going to give it some swagger. I'm going to plant it deep. And I'm going to let it grow. And I'm probably, once it starts to leaf out, I'm probably going to cut it back to about here. There's an outward facing bud there and one up here and, and this one shorter. So I got to see what starts coming out. All right, let me get this planted up. All right, I've got drainage screens in the bottom of this plastic pot. I've drilled holes in the feet so that water will drain from the feet. These are one of those pots that have um, places where water can gather. Just cleaning the feet up. I've cleared those places. And as with all of my trees this year, I'm using a pumice drainage layer. Seems to make sense to me. Let me put a mask on. All right. does a nice job of holding the screen down as well. the dust down a little bit going forward. Let's get some bonsai soil in there. I 
I do it slowly to cut down on the dust. But as you can see, the dust gets the better of us. Okay. Let's get out the tree. Let's place it. Let's arrange the roots. What few there are. Get this thing a little lower in the pot. All right, just a little mishap. You get to see those two service channel All right. what I have here should be enough to hold it yes yes it is how that's situated. I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up. Give it a little spin around. I'm gonna take it outside and give it some water. And I think this one's gonna spend the night in the greenhouse. Now before I uh, put this away, I thought I'd just give you a spin. And like I said before, I'm probably gonna cut these down once I see it start to grow. That's a nice big pot for it to grow out in, don't you think? Next tree. All right, here's that golden rain tree. I like the look of this tree. I like the look of the roots. Everything looks so healthy. Thank you again, Matt. And thank you, Jonas, from Bonsai Cornwall. All right, got to do something about that lowest root. But what, what, what? I'm going to start a little chicken. I'm going to cut this part off that's extending upward. And 
then I'm doing it. Oh, that's a lot of root, but leaves me with a lot. Plant this tree on a slant. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I did read an article called The Allure of the Invasive Species. So I'm hoping it's as alluring as it sounds. All right, the pot I've chosen for this, let me just trim some things off here. The pot I've chosen for this is just a cheapo plastic pot, bonsai pot, small one, this guy. I think that's sufficient for it to grow out in. And I think I am gonna plant it on a slant. And who knows, maybe redirect it up one of these upward facing branches in the future. I've got a uh, drainage screen in there. Just have to trim it a tiny bit. There we go. Do I need pumice in this one? I really don't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just a little pumice on the bottom. Place for the roots to go around. All right. And some bones I saw out. This is perfect for my little copper soil scoop. Let's see if working that in helps. I didn't ask you where these trees were. Were they just outside? Were they protected? I'm gonna pile up a little right around the base. This one's definitely staying in the greenhouse. Let it escape from the lab. All right, so that's the golden rain tree. Let me go outside and water that. And we'll move on to the maples. I got a plan for those. Yeah, so that's the angle. And we'll see what I do with it. Okay, next up are the maples. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Yeah. So there were small, smaller, and smallest. So I started putting them together into three bundles. And I'm going to make a fusion project out of all three bundles. And it looks like I can arrange it 
so that I could get, you know, a fairly reasonable Nabari. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use vet tape right at the base, nice and tight, to hold it together. All right. I'm going to fold it over on itself. And I'm going to proceed to bind these very tightly. And I want to be sure that the roots are going in a direction that accentuates the Nabari. Okay, now I'm really gonna crank down on this. And let's see if I can get a fusion going. And right, I gotta figure out how to terminate this. I see Tony do it all the time. Okay. I'll try and shorten this up in editing. There we go. Let me cut the ends off of that. See if I can make there be a little final arranging of these. Yeah. All right, so let me trim the roots based on this little bundle. Taking a big piece off of there. Another big piece. A little section off of that. And I'm hoping some roots develop on this side. All right, this one, just gonna shorten the uh, root ends. These are all gonna be in one pot, by the way. I'm gonna take this off. It'd be great if I could get a little fusion going. All right, that's going back in the water. Next biggest or smallest. And let me get some vet tape prepped and ready. All right. I think I can safely cut that. Get that back in the water. And this little baby one. Let me get some vet tape cut. This time I'm only going to use a half. I'm not going to fold it over. Well, I'm going to fold the half over. I like it. 
Okay, can I wrap that? Will this binding be binding? I guess we'll find out. Can I get a piece? Maybe. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to get these, well, let me sort these roots out a little bit. A little snip. And we're going to get these all planted. All right, I've got a drainage screen in there. Here's the drainage layer. Nice deep pot for planting of three fusion red maples. From Connecticut, courtesy of Matt Brennan, bonsai fan extraordinaire. Get some bonsai soil on top of that. And let's plant these left to right. I'll get the largest grouping out first. These roots have a lot of developing to do. Second grouping, the next largest. A little bit of trimming. A couple of thick roots. Cutting back, hoping that they'll generate new roots. Okay, make a little pit in the middle. That's where I wanted to end up. Let's get some soil ready. And a little baby grouping of three. Did I get that one down far enough? I don't think so. There we go. 
kind of cute. Working it in. All right, let me get some soil to top off. Now it's supposed to pour tomorrow. And I would like all of these to have the benefit of that. So, I think, I think I'm going to leave them out. I don't know what time the rain's supposed to start. That's lovely. For keeping me company in my backyard thank you to matt brennan for this wonderful gift and thank you all for your support over the last year and a half or so well not quite a year and a half but it's getting there and thank you to all my subscribers if you like what you're seeing tell your friends here's a shot of my bench so far i'm taking a little bit of a risk leaving everything out tonight. It's supposed to stay cold, but all of these trees I think have been outdoors. I can't speak for, you know what? I'm a little afraid about this, about this guy. So this is coming back in. This is the golden rain tree. Mm -hmm.